Okay, everybody, and uh, we need your patience for another few moments, and we'll try to be brief, and then we'll go to lunch. We would like to confer the award for the c contribution to Nas Israel's national security, and this is a tradition that began last year, and we're hoping to continue that tradition in the future. This year was particularly difficult to decide who to give that prize to because there were so there was so much courage demonstrated during the war. Still, a decision needs to be made. And we're honored to award this prize today uh, to two groups of fighters, two publics that manifest the courage and dedication that was demonstrated during the war. And thanks to this uh, dedication and courage, the State of Israel overcame and it will always overcome its enemies. The first award is presented to the Israel Police, which, which once the murderous attack occurred on the 7th of October, October, it understood how great the challenge was right away. It got ready in, in record time. It cut off major roads in the uh, from coming from Gaza to prevent the terrorists from going on. And it, it rushed into the battlefield to, to save our citizens. In Siderot and Ofakim, uh, police officers uh, fought, took tough casualties, but didn't let, let go until the last of the terrorists was uh, killed. And this is how the State of Israel has proven that it's not just dedicated to its uh, traditional role of uh, force in, uh, uh, to in law enforcement, but also a critical part of Israel's national security. It's also responsible for ensuring freedom of expression while maintaining public order. During this complex time that we're living in, this role is more important than any, ever before in order to preserve the democracy that is so dear to all of us. For its central role uh, that it played on the 7th of October during the war, we intend to, conf we're honored to order, to give it the 2024 uh, award and it will be the uh, uh, superintendent uh, Sh uh, Kobe Shabtai the chief of the Israel police that will be accepted the award on its behalf and the commander of the Southern District uh, uh, Major General of Amir Kohen will accept that prize. Heroes. The director of the board of directors of the INSS, the chair, uh, Frank Lowry. The head of the INSS, Professor Manuel Trachtenberg. I understand that you didn't have a problem with that. The manager of the INSS, uh, Reserve General, Major General Tamir Hyman, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, good afternoon. I want to start with my dream to express my deep gratitude for the opportunity to stand here before you in this conference and to receive the INSS's award for the activities of the Israel police during uh, our operation, the, the war. And, and the uh, 7th of October, the, the police officers and the uh, fighters uh, from the Israel police were the first to respond. They, they uh, fought Hamas cells and defended the residents of the south with their own bodies and prevented the continued massacres. During that day and, and the days after that, we lost 61 uh, police officers, courageous uh, police officers that stood between the murderers and the victims uh, in order to defend 
uh, the nation and, and, the, and the country. Clearly, after the 7th of October, more than ever before, the public has un understood that the Israel police officers are the uh, wall of Israel's national security. After the 7th of October, this, they, they continued operating fully in Abu Kabir. The police officers led an effort to uh, identify bodies, and LAV 433 uh, operated intensely by investigating hundreds of Hamas ter uh, terrorists, uh, uh, collecting evidence, and dealing with, uh, with incitement uh, cases and more and more. All of these things in all of the divisions of the Israel police enlisted to that, onto that uh, national attempt uh, effort. And our basic principles are clear. The Israel police has a task that they see as their calling. It's a calling to fulfill the basic right of Israeli citizens to personal security. And in this, at this place, it's important for me to mention your importance in Israel's national security, and particularly how the Israeli police are strengthening us. The trust that you're getting from there that so many in the state of Israel uh, invest in you are the source of our strength. Particularly these days, when all of the Israel police uh, personnel are all over the state of Israel to ensure the safety and the well-being of Israelis and prepared for any threat, the feeling of calling and the dedication and the courage of the officers of the Israel police are deserve a lot of uh, respect, and I'm proud to accept on their behalf the National Security Award. I uh, am grateful for that award. I see it as a major uh, honor, but it's also a great responsibility. And as, as the chief of the police, I promise that we continue to operate to ensure the safety of our citizens. Thank you very much. Very moving. The second award, and it, by the way, this isn't in any particular order. There are two awards here. The second award, we are honored to, very uh, or, uh, honored to confer this prize to the IDF reservists. In a moment, just after the war broke out, about 300,000 uh, uh, reservists, men and women, were called up, and their call up was much more than 100%. Uh, people came back from abroad and they joined the fighting at the front lines right away. Over more than four consecutive months, reserve forces uh, operated with courage and, and, and made a major contribution to the overwhelming blow against our, our cruel enemy. What's even uh, equally mer meriting is the support of the families that were left behind while dealing with the incredible difficulties of the long absence of a son, daughter, or spouse at the front. And we, were, we hope that the State of Israel will be able to, re uh, to compensate the idea of reservists and to appreciate their, their sense of sac sacrifice. The little that we can do is to give the IDF reservists the INSS prize for 2024 as, as, a, as an indication of a recognition to their overwhelming contribution to Israel's national security. In the name, of, on behalf of the IDF reservists, officers and soldiers, is Brigadier General Ali Ben-Ari, the chief reserve officer and Master Sergeant General Yonat Askal Dagan and Reserve Lieutenant Colonel Meir Karni.
First of all, thank you very much to the INSS, to the director, to the manager of the INSS, to all the commanders that are there. It's a great honor really to be here and to represent the idea of preservists and to receive this very respect, respectable award uh, on its behalf. On the 7th of October, truly 300,000 reservists left everything behind and and mobilized within less than 24 hours all of the borders were manned by our idf reservists in many many cases they didn't wait to be called up they didn't even wait for their orders they simply understood the situation and they didn't let anything stop them on the way to uh, carrying out their mission which is defending the state of israel I think that since then we've been coping with a, a, the, a length of a campaign that since the Yom Kippur War we have never contended with in, the, uh, in, a, in our reserve forces. We have fighting on all fronts and the IDF reservists are fighting in all of the sectors that it is in. We're paying a heavy price uh, in the lives of, and, of, of reservists and wounded reservists, very uh, heavy. Uh, uh, personal prices uh, to the families, paid by the families, uh, by, the, uh, by the universities, uh, to resilience, workplaces. But despite all of those uh, costs, I can tell you that I'm hearing one very clear and strong message from all of our reserve units, which is that we are here and we'll be here as long as necessary. We're strong and together we'll achieve that victory. Please, they deserve, they definitely deserve a round of applause. It's completely clear to us also that the fighting hasn't ended. We still have our missions, we still have hostages uh, and missing people to bring home. We have uh, residents from the north and the south who have been evacuated that need to go home eventually. There are preparations for fighting in the north, but we also have who to rely on. And I think that if I could say something that really de demonstrated itself on the 7th of October, that would be the idea of reservists force. And I think that it deserves a lot, the reservists themselves deserve a lot of uh, uh, recognition. You can definitely applaud them. They really deserve it. And together with them, uh, the spouses of the reservists, and clearly they're also part of this campaign. We also see them as part, as a very significant part of us. Again, thank you for this honor and for the recognition. And this is these are one of the things. This is one of the things that's most important to us in the reserves. Only together will we achieve victory. Thank you.